It was a great publicity stunt. An unsigned Manchester band produced this video for their soon-to-be-released single. They said it was all filmed on CCTV cameras around the city and then they got the footage from the companies that owned the cameras using freedom of information requests. And it worked a treat. It's been quite bizarre actually. I mean, it, it was on Sky News this morning and subsequently I've, I've been doing radio um, interviews, um, speaking to the papers. Um, the phone's ringing non-stop at the moment and some girls just behind us just talking about the interview from this morning. Uh, it's quite crazy. Yeah getting taken up by it. I quite like the attention to be honest. <laughs> but we know for certain that a lot of it is not CCTV footage. The band's now admitted that about 50% of it was done on a handheld camera and doctored to look like CCTV. They say half of it is CCTV. They fooled lots of media organisations including Sky News which ran a long feature on it this morning. They even fooled Channel M for a while. How much cheaper was it to do it this way than to do a professional video? Well, there was a, a minor cost involved in reclaiming the videos, but compared to the cost of actually producing a professional-looking video, um, it, it, so much, so much cheaper. I think it was about ten pounds per, per request um, that was successful. And how many successful requests do you have? Do you know? Oh, offhand, I don't know. I know that there were a lot more unsuccessful ones than there were successful ones. A few check-up calls to companies that were supposed to have the CCTV show that no freedom of information requests had been received. So I asked the band for any proof of freedom of information requests, but they could not provide any. Richard Butt, Channel M News.